The Trump administration moved quickly to deny the story. I was in the room. It didn't happen. That was the response from National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster about the Washington Post story. The report, which quotes anonymous sources, says that when the president shared that highly classified information with Russian officials at a meeting last week, he put a source of intelligence about ISIS at risk. The Post, citing current and former U.S. officials, says the president shared details about an Islamic State terror threat related to the use of laptop computers on aircraft with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and Russian Ambassador to the U.S. Sergei Kislyak. But McMaster says the story isn't correct. The story that came out tonight, as reported, is false. The president and the foreign minister reviewed a range of common threats to our two countries, including threats to civil aviation. At no time, at no time, were intelligence sources or methods discussed. As president, Mr. Trump has the power to declassify information, so he wouldn't have broken any laws. But the leading Democrat on the House Intelligence Committee is looking into what exactly was shared in that meeting. The controversy comes as the White House has disassociated itself from comments by an administration official who said that the Western Wall is not part of Israel. The Israeli government had requested that Prime Minister Netanyahu go with the president to the Western Wall when Trump goes to Israel, but that a diplomat in Israel told the Israelis that the wall is located in the West Bank, and so it is not a part of Israel. But the White House called those remarks unauthorized and said they don't represent the president's position. And here at home, President Trump is set to meet with President Erdogan of Turkey today. The meeting will likely center on the friction between the U.S. and Turkey over the Trump administration's decision to give Syrian Kurdish fighters powerful weapons to fight ISIS. But Turkey is against that move because it considers those Syrian Kurds to be terrorists. Another current sticking point between the two countries, Israel, as President Erdogan opposes the U.S. moving its embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Charlene Aaron, CBN News.